Welcome to AL Central Bats. I'm your host, Declan Levy. A couple of divisional series kicked off the 2019 series for the Central, along with the Tigers freezing in Toronto. But let's get things started with the Sox and the Royals. It was a tough start for Chicago against the Royals squad with something to prove. Brad Keller looking sharp for the boys in blue. Just a two hitter through seven with a few late runs for the Sox. Royals take the first one, five to three. Second game was more of the same for KC. They got ahead early and held off another, stock, another Sox storm to win eight to six behind a three RBI effort from Jorge Soler. Finally, some signs of life for the Sox avoiding the sweep with a 6-3 road win. Lucas Giolito had a no-hitter through six before it was broken up late. Much like the first two games, the winning team gained an insurmountable advantage early on and held the others just enough to get the dub. A tough, a tough road series for the Sox. They can clearly play well, but they're still working out some kinks. They were able to ride momentum, which is good, which is a good thing, but they need to know when and where that momentum is coming from because losing 10 to eight and losing 10 to two is still a loss. But on to the Twins and Indians. Minnesota took two out of three in this series. We had a pitching masterclass in game one between Corey Kluber and Jose Barrios. Six hits total between the two siders. Left fielder Marwin Gonzalez making the difference and knocking in a late run on a double to win two to zero for the Twins. Game two, more of the same, even through eight innings, and pinch hitter Greg Allen makes the difference for his first RBI of his 2019 campaign on a sack fly to survive two to one and even up the series. The Twins found their bats and destroyed the Indians behind a Nelson Cruz bomb. Nine to three was the final score. The Twins looked like a team that can actually play, whereas Cleveland was still strong, just not quite Believeland from a couple years ago. The Indians may need to go out and look for a few hitters on the trade block or in their farm system because this lineup is not cutting it. Actually, they are cutting at it maybe a little too much. But finally, on to the Tigers. They split a four-game series in the division. Luckily for them, they got away from Michigan and played in a real stadium, the Rogers Center in Toronto. Blue Jays were quite the nice host, helping the Tigers out in a 2-0 victory. The Jays picked a play with a couple shutouts of their own before a dramatic final game. Nick Castellanos may as well be swinging with a ping-pong paddle in his first five at-bats, but then found the extension shaft, choked up, and smacked the line drive here into center field for the game-winning RBI in the 11th inning. Castellanos found that, that Detroit magic, and not the Detroit magic when a mug... A mugger pulls a squirrel out of his winter coat at Ford Field. Detroit's just feeling things out like the rest of the division. It's always good to split a road series, and the Tigers did just that. That's going to do it. Thanks for joining me. This has been Declan Levy. See you guys next time on AL Central Bats.